Hey there guys, welcome back to Freedom Frog Gear. This is Frog Frog, and I got one today that I am very excited about. Before we get into that, I want to do a quick shout out to my buddy Jonesy from Radio Jonesy and Australia Indie Rock Radio. I will put up links to both channels, he runs them both. Awesome, awesome guy, he supports all communities, just a really, really cool dude. Get to know him. And uh, I love his accent, guys. Very cool person. All right. Today, uh, for my knife, I have the Civivi Anthropos. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it is an Esham design. And honestly, I did not expect to like this knife as much as I do. I got the Plethros, and that was kind of bigger, and I, and I really enjoyed that one. This is very small to me the handle is small but it fits in my hand perfectly and the the geometry of these blades are fantastic that's one thing esham could do i mean you look at the knife and you think to yourself that can't be comfortable and then you pick it up and then you say oh now i get it um there is no jimping on the back but you have great control of the knife and has some oil on it but the edge is Fantastic. So VB does a great job with their edge. The action of this knife is pretty good. There's a little bit of jimping on that flipper tab. Pops right open. And takes a little shake to drop it shut. I'm sure I can fix that. All right, real quick, let's get into some specs for this thing. Uh, the overall length is 7.375 inches with a handle length of 4.125 inches. And a blade length of 3.25 inches. Guys, this is D2 steel. Keep in mind, this is an older Civivi model. They are still in stock, though. And honestly, I, I don't mind the D2. Uh, they do a great job. It's fairly easy to sharpen. And it does keep its edge for a while. Civivi does it right. And I, uh, I really have no problem with this being D2 at all. Um, it is a drop point blade with a flat grind and a satin finish. And the handle material is carbon fiber and G10. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it is a liner lock knife. Uh, da, da, da. It is in his right or left hand carry. You can switch the pocket clip. And it has a flipper tab. Like I said, with a little bit of jimping on there. But it's just enough to catch your finger and fire open with ease. And these are made in China, and if I didn't say so, it's tip-up carry. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really, really, really like this knife. I just love the control that you have with these, and uh, Esham knives are, are just special to me. They always have been. Um, th this is no exception. Great belly on the knife, great cutting power. If you want a knife that isn't huge, I could, you know, I could carry this in Massachusetts and still feel confident that I have a fantastic knife. I do not live in Massachusetts anymore, thank goodness. No offense to anybody in Massachusetts, but you know how it is being a knife guy there. Great, great knife. Guys, Radio Jonesy and Australian Indie Rock Radio. Check them out. And I will see you next time at Freedom Frog Gear. And also, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know my content has been somewhat sporadic. I am going to try to change that and make more content. Let's sacrifice one more peanut here. Yeah, baby. Love this thing. All right, guys. Thank you very much. See you next time. Frog out.